the data engineering coding interview. It's the final boss for so many of us. You've built pipelines, you know your tech stack, but then you're hit with this tricky SQL window function or a very weird Python graph traversal problem. Well, what if you had a clear no fluff playbook to conquer it? In this video, I'm going to share with you how I would ace data engineering coding rounds personally in 2025. Hey everyone, as you might know, I'm Josh and I have about six plus years of experience working in different tech companies like DoorDash, Google, ZS. I have been in the field of data and AI for quite some time now. And let's be clear, data engineering isn't just any job. It is one of the most fastest growing and more critical roles in tech. The US Bureau of Labor Statistics project data related jobs to grow significantly faster than average. And the demand for skilled data engineers has exploded. Even in India, it's growing by over 34% year over year, which is insane. But in most good and high paying companies, getting through the coding interview is your ticket in. Now let's talk about the interview landscape. If you're a fresher, your focus is on core fundamentals like SQL, DBMS, Python, operating systems, and some other basic stuff. Basically, they want to see if you have a solid foundation. For experienced hires, they expect you to know all of the things that I just mentioned for freshers, but they also add two more layer of complexity on top of it, which is data modeling and system design. So they also want you to understand the architectural trade-offs and design decision making. But here's the thing, no matter what your experience level is, these are the two things that if you master, you will ace most of coding rounds, especially for data roles, which is SQL and Python. Since we are data engineers or aspiring data engineers, let's talk about data. SQL shows up in more than 80% of job descriptions. And Python is the undisputed king of data engineering, tooling and scripting. Over 90% of professionals looking to get into data engineering start with that. Now you'll be wondering what about PySpark or Spark? That's also an important coding framework. Well, yes, it's very important skill to learn, but you should not expect line by line coding rounds on PySpark. Uh, while it will be a part of your system design or domain expertise round, it will not be something that you want to focus on, especially for clearing coding round. This video is going to be divided into three main parts. The first two parts are obviously going to be all about SQL and Python, where we'll go through courses, resources, sample questions that might come up in the interviews and also projects. And, and then the last part of the video, I'm going to talk about the preparation strategy and interview strategy for coding rounds. Number one is mastering the SQL. Now I have a full video on this and I'm going to link it right here also in the cards and as well as in the description. So don't fall into tutorial trap where you just watch things. You have to learn by doing and that's where you start with SQL Bolt. It forces you to write queries from the very first lesson. By the way, all the resources that I'm mentioning are all mentioned in the description. And then next you should go with deeper real world scenarios. So that's where you take mode analytics SQL course. So it's entire workshop. It starts with basic SQL, goes all the way to advanced, and then it also ends with project. It's completely free and it covers advanced topics like window functions, sub queries with excellent business oriented examples. And you can also do hands on directly there. So mode analytics is like a platform where you can run SQL on cloud. So they have loaded data sets where you can practice everything that they are teaching live and you don't have to install anything in your local system. But once you go through these learning resources, you're good with SQL in terms of understanding the fundamentals, but now you need to prep for the interview. So that's where lead code 50 list comes into play. It has mostly easy and medium questions and that's a great starting point. And once you're done with this list, I would like you to focus on advanced SQL 50. In terms of importance, I would say focus on these keywords, most obviously select from where all of these things form the basics of SQL, but then also focus on group buys and order buys, having clause, case and when statements, partition by window functions, sub queries and CTEs. Okay, so let's talk about game plan part two. Uh, the thing is, this is very similar to SQL. And in fact, I have a video on this as well. So I'm going to link it right here and in the description. So do check it out. I'll want you to start with again, hands-on project-based approach. And that's where automate the boring stuff. It's an ebook that's available online. Next is build something. So you learn the skills, but you need to build some projects, especially in Python to get ahead and to get the full picture. That's where I would recommend start with this Kaggle data set, uh, which is great for practicing data manipulation with libraries like Pandas. It has 120 years of Olympic history athletes and results. Next is this GitHub project, which is about developing an ETL pipeline using Python and open weather uh, real time API, which is available for free. You'll learn how to work with APIs, process data and build a sample pipeline. There are other real time data sets available on GitHub as well, either free or paid and you can play around with any of those. Now, similar to SQL, once you complete learning and project, you need to switch into an interview prep mode. And this is different compared to projects because you have to be time bound and that's where practice comes into play. I would recommend cracking the coding interview book. It is literally a classic book 
for one reason it teaches you how to think about common algorithm patterns you'll find the ebook either available somewhere hosted online or you can purchase it from amazon as well also let me tell you the most common dsa patterns for data roles arrays and strings hash maps which are like dictionaries in python two pointers sliding window searching and sorting basics of trees and graphs stacks and queues okay now the thing is this lead code and classic resources are really good be it software engineer or data engineer but i want to share a resource with you that is specifically built for cracking data engineering interviews it is literally built by data engineers for data engineers and this is where i recommend data vidya of course it has a massive library of coding questions you will actually face in an interview it covers PySpark, DBT, Advanced SQL, Python for data manipulation. You can filter by company, difficulty, all the good stuff. But we know that data engineering interviews are more than only coding, right? So that's where they also have really good platform for solving data modeling and system design. And this is the first time that I have seen a platform that targets all different rounds for data engineering interviews. For data modeling, you'll get scenarios and build your schemas right there by creating required facts, dimensions, connecting them all together. For system design, it integrates with tools like Draw io so you can architect your own solution but the magic is what happens next an ai evaluator will go through your submission and will give you quick and instant feedback it tells you what you did well and what you can improve think of it like your personal 24 7 mock interviewer also to tie it all together they've structured everything in these different interview paths each path gives you essential technical guides to learn the concepts followed by a curated list of practice questions to master them if you are serious about landing a top data engineering role then check out the link in the description for data with their platform now final section of the video here we're going to talk about preparation and interview strategy first of all this is a marathon it's not a sprint if you put in let's say five hours a day and then forget about it for the next four days that's not how you'll be mastering python and sql you need to dedicate one to two hours every day to be better at it let's say you have an hour put 30 minutes on sql solve two to three lead code problems and focus on the logic not just on getting the answer and then the rest of 30 minutes you can put to python or dsa and that's where you go through just one lead code problem for python every day and really break down your solution and think about different optimal solutions that you could have come up also one very good thing that i recommend is filter your questions by company so let's say if you're applying to meta or amazon or google then there's ways you can filter specifically by those companies on platform like data vidya and lead code so do that before you're actually giving interviews now let me talk about interview strategy what will you do on the game day how do you solve a coding problem so there are two types of coding rounds that i have seen most one type of round is where you focus on solving one or at max two problems in python and then second type of coding round is where they bombard you with different questions in python as well as sql and then the difficulty slightly keeps on increasing for the first one when you have like 45 minutes to solve a problem this is how i would approach it spend first five minutes carefully listening or reading the problem look at all the edge cases and also ask any follow-up questions next 10 minutes you think about the pseudo code you explain your approach you think about your thought process and you maybe write it on a piece of paper and finalize okay this is the approach that i'm going to go with and have an alignment with an interviewer as well after that next 15 minutes you code but you don't just code you talk and code some people like to explain as they go line by line and some people just say hey i'll explain everything at the end of my coding session both of those things are fine as long as you explain what you're coding. After that, I would say next five to 10 minutes spend on testing and refining the solution and also trying to optimize it. And if you cannot optimize it, maybe just give some high level ideas about what can be done. And then for second type of interview where it's like you have like 45 minutes or one hour and then they will ask you two, three Python problems or three to four SQL problems. That's where time management is super, super important. If a SQL problem is easy, you should be able to solve it in around five minutes. If it's a medium problem, maximum you should take is about five to 10 minutes. And then if it's hard problem, you can expect to spend about 15 minutes. Follow the same timed approach when you're preparing for the interview. So that's it. There's no magic ingredient. <clears throat> there is no secret ingredient. It's just you. It's all about following the right resources and keep practicing and also in the end communicating all of your thoughts and approaches to the interviewer. If you got value from this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and feel free to drop a comment if you have any questions about data roles in general or about interview process. I try to answer a lot of comments as much as possible. So let's talk about it in the comment section below. And that's about it. See you next time.